from the TLC producers of John and Kate Plus 8. We present to you the hot new anatomical show, Radius and Ulna Plus 8. On this week's episode, the carpels are out of control. Let's find out why. It all started with the two of us. Then I proposed to Alna with a beautiful ring. We decided to have four kids. But we ended up with eight. Pisiform, triquitrum, lunate, scaphoid, hamate, capitate, trapezium, and trapezoid. We are now all one happy wrist, living inside of an arm complex. We are a joint and we work together. We work together to flex and extend, radially deviate, and ulnarly deviate. The younger carpals, pisiform, hamate, scaphoid, and trapezium, have a bedtime curfew so they can get enough sleep in order to function properly. However, over the past few weeks, those carpals have been fighting a lot. This has caused a lot of compression and has begun to aggravate some of the older siblings. All of this fighting causes them to rub up against one another, bringing inflammation and swelling. Because of the increased fighting, Radius and Ulna decide to tighten up the ligament by making the curfew earlier. After a couple weeks of the curfew being earlier, the carpals are starting to feel restricted and compressed. This compression starts to get on the family's nerves. The compression of this nerve causes some problems within the family, which reduces their ability to perform their daily functions. Some of the problems in the wrist joint family include tingling, numbness, and weakness. These problems have become so bad that they are even affecting their neighbors, the hand joint family. The family goes to a family therapist to see what they can do about their problems. The therapist says they have an issue called carpal tunnel syndrome. What can we do to fix it? Asked the wrist joint family. There are several options for treatment that I can go over with you, says the therapist. It is important that we address this problem as soon as possible, otherwise permanent damage can be done to your family. What are our options? Asked the wrist joint family. Well, there are several options. Non-surgical options would be to rest your family, put you guys in a splint, ice, stretching, or strengthening exercises. There is also the option of surgery where we would remove the curfew to make more space, says the therapist. Yay! Let's remove the curfew! Shouts the kids. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Exclaims the parents. I think it would be best to start out with the other options. Okay, well I can work with your family in order to fit you for a splint. This splint can re relieve the curfew a little in order to relieve some of the problems, says the therapist. I can also work with you on some stretching and strengthening exercises, and I would recommend some anti-inflammatories to alleviate the symptoms. That, that sounds, sounds like, like a great, great plan, says the wrist joint family. Great, and if these problems do not get better with these treatment plans, we can revisit the surgery option on a later date, the therapist states. Okay, thank you for all your help says the wrist joint family. After a few months of treatment, the wrist joint family's problems had gone away and they were functioning just like they should be. The curfew remained in place but at a reasonable time which didn't place too much compression on the family. All is well in the wrist joint family. Tune in next week when the wrist joint family and the hand joint family have a block party.